let's go back. I want to go back to the beginning of who Sahar was. Um, tell me a little bit about your family. Sure. Um, so I am of Afghan descent. Uh, my story starts in Pakistan. I was born in Pakistan. My sister and I were born under like a refugee status. So um, my family fled Afghanistan in the late 70s, literally on like horses and donkeys. Um, I have four, bro- four sisters, two brothers. So my parents had to deal with, you know, carrying their children on horses and donkeys across the mountains to get to the other side. And so it's always been a life of resilience of like starting over, starting over, starting over. And so being Afghan uh, and then being an immigrant in Canada with the whole September 11th, like that was another mark of like identity stuff for me. I've had to address a lot of pain um, and a lot of like, you know, things around displacement, things around not belonging. Now, I didn't know that you guys actually went through that with the you know, escaping and and making that trip. But you mentioned something that obviously resonated with me as far as um, 9-11. When it happened is when my parents also had divorced. So we had just moved to like a low-income, single-mother household neighborhood. And so I was starting out new and I was around 11 or 12 years old. I was in grade 7. And the moment people discovered that, like young kids, you know, they want to make fun of you. They want to create jokes. People knew that I was of Afghan descent. And so they'd be like, oh, is your dad Osama? Is your dad Osama? And they didn't realize the impact of that on me as a child that was going through, like, their parents having divorce and having to deal with, like, not knowing where my dad was in terms of, like, the separation. So it was really difficult, I would say. It was really, really difficult because... All these narratives came out about what it means to be an Afghan woman and I had to like challenge those stereotypes and like, you know, dismantle them because people want to read you. So they want to be like, oh, you look different. Where are you from? And, right. you know, <laughs> right. that's that's part of the Canadian narrative. Right. right? <laughs> Where are you from? You look so different. And then like right. there'd be some people who are racist and they'd say, go, get, go back home. And that was another pain point for me because, you know, I'm like, I can't even go back home. I've never stepped foot on the lands of Afghanistan. Right. I, I still haven't. 